my friends, I have just finished filming another video for you, which I feel like you might have already seen earlier this week. But since I already had my camera and my lights set up, I thought I would check in and let you know what we're doing today because we're going to a Dior party. We're going to the boutique opening of a new Dior store, which is really rare for me. I rarely ever leave my apartment, so it's a big day for me, and I thought I would bring you guys along. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to be a shopping vlog or just sort of a party vlog. I almost had a day in my life, but this is definitely not a day in my life. I never do this. But I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to do any shopping, if it's gonna be too busy to try anything on or to have a close look at anything. It doesn't really matter. One thing is for sure that they have some Dior eye candy for us, which I hope you'll enjoy seeing as well. I have to go get ready. I have to figure out what I'm going to wear because the invitation says, let me pull it up. I think it said that the attire is Dior cocktail. So I have to figure out what I'm going to wear. It has to be something Dior, which is not tough for me considering how much I love Dior ready to wear, but I'm going to go do that. And then I'll try to check in with you either before we leave, which I'm not sure if I have the time to do because I still have to take down Mr. Pie on another walk or I'll check in with you as soon as we get to the boutique. What's important is that we're going to be hanging out tonight. So if you'd like to come to Dior with me today, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. Okay, friends, we just got back from our walk and it's so hot outside, which is definitely changing my plans. I wanted to wear a jacket, but it's going to be way too hot. So I think this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to wear this navy see-through Dior Bleak t-shirt, which I love but it is see-through. So I'm going to put this product t-shirt underneath it in black, which I love these t-shirts. I buy them every season when they have them because they have a little bit more sort of structure to them than a regular t-shirt would. So I have this in black and then I also have it in navy and I was going back and forth between wearing it in black or navy because this is navy, but I'm going to wear a black bag and I think I'm going to have to go with black pants because I actually bought this pair of jeans not too long ago which i thought would have been perfect with this look so i just went to try it on and it is too big but i'll make sure to put in a picture of the jeans here they are incredible but they were just a little bit too big to my surprise because they're actually from their women's line but i already checked and they have them in my size so i'm going to exchange them for a smaller size but Anyway, I'm not going to be wearing those jeans. So I think I'm just going to do my favorite Dior pants with the slits in the front in black and then a black bag, probably my mini Kelly because I don't have my pochette at home. So this is the plan. Let me go change really quick. And if I have time, I'll come check in with you guys before we leave. But if I don't, I'll see you guys at the boutique. And we have made it to the boutique opening. But I have to be honest with you, they did not have nearly as many special pieces as I thought they would have. I kind of expected to see some limited edition pieces or maybe some pieces from the latest Birkenstock collaboration, but they didn't have any of that. But at least I got to have a look at the latest fall 2022 collection, which I didn't have too much luck with. The pieces that they had for men were really quite boring and then their women's line the cuts are just getting more and more cropped and tighter each season. But I did want to highlight a few things and let's start with fine jewelry because that's definitely something that I would love to explore more from Dior. I think their fine jewelry is incredibly underrated, especially when it comes to their lucky charms. If you know me, you know that I'm a sucker for anything that promises to bring you luck and protection. So. I am a big fan of their fine jewelry pieces and for the price I do think that they add quite a bit of bang to your collection and then I also wanted to show you this sweat set which was made of this really cool bookly sort of fluffy fabric which is pretty but I feel like you can get something really similar from a brand like Skims for a fraction of the price. But since I was already here, I thought I could at least pick up a new t-shirt. So this is a t-shirt that I looked at, which is from their latest, I think it's called the Dior Riviera collection, but it's all one word and I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. But anyway, they came out with a ton of different pieces with the Toile de Jouet print, which 
I adore but unfortunately these t-shirts only come in this pink that you're seeing here and then they also come in a super vibrant almost neon blue color which is really just not my cup of tea but they also had shoes they also had bags with this print they had as I said an entire collection and then you'll see these two knitted blouses on the sofa here which by far were the most popular pieces at the event they had them all over the store and by the time we left I think they were almost all gone they came in five different colors I want to say they came in a coral a pink a white and then a navy so I guess four different colors and people were going crazy for them which I don't really understand because these blouses have to be some of the itchiest scratchiest pieces that I have ever felt so i'm going to try this t-shirt which is from the latest collection for women it seems quite cropped and short i'll give it a try and we'll see but there's really nothing else in the new collection that stood out to me or really anything that i hadn't seen before so we're gonna try this so hopefully i don't leave empty-handed but honestly i am not a fan it's really unflattering and also i wouldn't want a t-shirt that has a huge dior logo on it that's why i bought this t-shirt which i actually couldn't wear my dior oblique t-shirt because it was way too hot to wear a polyester t-shirt so this is the one that i ended up wearing which i love because it doesn't have a huge dior logo so as you saw the t-shirt didn't work for me but i didn't stop trying so the next rack that i looked at they had some of these pieces which had this 30 montane little emblem on them which leads me to believe that these are some of their heritage pieces they had this on a bar jacket and a couple of other pieces which i all adore and then you'll see me trying to understand why people were going crazy for these knitted shirts because as i said they felt like actual torture having them against my skin even just for these few seconds In case you haven't seen my last Dior unboxing, I'll make sure to have it linked down below. But in that video, I talked about the Dior B30 sneakers, which I bought and have been loving. I still adore these sneakers. They're incredibly comfortable. They go with a ton of different things. And while I didn't wear them to this particular event, I feel like I could have because they can be dressed up so easily. And they launched them in a few new colorways for the current season so you'll see them in black in white in gray and then they also have this really unique mix of this neutral shade with a little bit of gray which is really quite 90s in the best way possible Let's move on to some bags and the first bag that we're looking at here is actually a new launch again for fall and I believe it's called the Nomad bag which I hadn't seen in person before. I had seen pictures and based on those I didn't think I would like this bag but I was really pleasantly surprised. I loved the shape, it was really unique, it was fun, it was casual and it was kind of futuristic at the same time. But then this futuristic shape was combined with the iconic Dior quilting, which I have to say I kind of loved. It does remind me of an Hermes cosmetic pouch that some people used as a bag. But this, because it does come in two different sizes, this being the larger one, I really liked. I don't know if I would necessarily buy it for myself, but if you're looking for a bag that's different and kind of unorthodox, this is definitely something that I would suggest that you look at next time you're at Dior. And then speaking of bags that are unorthodox, you know that I'm a sucker for bags, especially classic bags in unique textures and finishes. So here we have the Coral bag, which I never fell head over heels for. I always liked it, but I never loved it. However, seeing them in this sort of tweed or heavy linen fabric did change my mind i much preferred it in this fabric than how much i like them in leather i think they are super fun they are light they are casual and there's just something so chic about this bag in a fabric finish 
but the cherry on top was seeing all the micro Dior bags all together. So in case you didn't know, Dior launched a micro version of their most iconic bags. I want to say late last year. So there is a micro Lady Dior, a micro Sado bag, and a micro Caro bag, which they were able to show me all three bags. But as you expected, I was most blown away by the micro Lady Dior, which this was the first time that I actually felt I could make a Lady Dior work for myself. It's definitely one of my most favorite designer bags ever created, but it was never one that I felt would have suited my style and my proportions. But the micro bag, I actually really liked. They only had it in this pink colorway, but a little birdie told me that it is coming in exotic skins soon and it's going to be available in ostrich which does sound quite promising so i'm not saying that i'm going to get it in ostrich but it might be something that i want to have a look at it is not out yet but it should be launching soon and i could see myself playing around with it i'm kind of torn i'll definitely keep you posted they told me that as soon as they have one available they'll let me know so i can go and have a look at it but Anyway, it's something that I should think about. And in case you're also wondering about these bags, the Lady Dior does come with a shoulder strap, but a really short shoulder strap. So I would have to get a longer strap, which they showed me this longer shoulder strap, which doesn't match the back perfectly because the hardware is different, but I really don't mind mixing and matching hardware finishes. But do keep in mind that the strap is quite short, but the bag itself, fits a credit card holder. I did try and it fits my card holder perfectly, which means that this can actually be called a mini bag. I hate when people call bags mini bags that don't even fit a card. Let's just call them what they are, glorified bag charms or accessories. I don't think you can claim that a mini bag is a bag unless it fits at least a credit card. And this doesn't only fit a credit card, but it would fit an actual card holder. You could definitely put a lip balm, your keys next to them, and I think you would still have some space. So I was impressed by this. The rest of the mini bags, as cute as they are, they were really just not for me. And then I also made sure to put them side by side with my mini Kelly, just for size reference. And then they also showed me the small Lady Dior in both alligator and lizard so you'll see them side by side so you can tell that the micro is a lot smaller than the mini lady dior which is the one in lizard i'm a big lady dior fan it's never been a bag that i felt could work for me but in the micro size i am kind of tempted but my friends this completes our adventure at the dior boutique opening i hope you enjoyed all this eye candy and even though i left empty-handed well almost empty-handed. I did get a little gift from Dior, which I'll make sure to unbox on my Instagram. I have no doubt I'll find something new from Dior really, really soon. But for now, if you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you back here with a new video really, really soon.